Hey, this is Dark Jedi. Today we're going to be doing Drone Racing Arcade. This is a skills-powered app where you can fly a drone on your phone for money. And I'll be honest with you, I did not like this game when it first came out. I gave it another go because of an interesting competition they have. I'll get to that in just a second. But before we get started, if you have never made a deposit on a skills game before or looking to make your first deposit uh, sometime soon, use my promo code. It's very simple. Just go to Dark Jedi SA as shown here on the promo code section, and that'll give you a $20 bonus on your first deposit and a $10 bonus on your second deposit. So I'd mention an interesting competition that they had. Well, over the weekend, they put out a competition where first place got, let's scroll up to the top here. First place got $250 Amazon gift card and uh, a Nikon headset or a DRL flight suit. So you can see here, Chow Algo got 28,000 points and got the, 20, uh, the $250 gift card but if you scroll down top 100 got something and yours truly came in 20th place i got 24,000 points and honestly I, I i'm not very good at this game or at least i thought however uh we're gonna jump into some matches to see what what that does i actually had initially won the hat and i'm like yeah let's see if i can do a little bit better definitely did not want the water bottle anyways so let's jump right into the game how do you play well uh, just like any game, you're going to be able to play for money. Uh, the lowest stakes are a dollar uh, to win, 60 cents uh, by each player, and the winner takes a dollar. So it's very simple. I'm going to show you uh, just simple strategies, but basically you hold your finger down on the screen. You're going to slide it around. You're going to aim for the $500, the 500 point bonuses while simultaneously trying to collect the coins. Now this, when you first download the game, is going to be my number one strategy to you keep it simple every time you hit an object you will lose a life and you only get three lives so uh, after you hit something three times you are out of the race and for many people at least starting out it's going to be just finishing the race that's going to get you the win because you only have to do two laps but i initially crashed into everything and was unable to finish the race and i was just losing by maybe a thousand points well now i've gotten to the point where i can finish the race and i can use the boost so you can see that my my drone is moving a little bit more quickly this is a race after all so you do want to go as fast as possible and the way you're going to boost is just by lifting your finger off the screen and putting it back on the screen so it's very simple and there i missed a power up that would have given me invincibility for a few seconds but you just want to be mindful when you boost because and i know everyone's going to try to do this when they first download it boosting is very hard to control your drone so uh, let's try to get some of these coins here it's really about getting as many coins as you can as many power uh 500 point bonuses as you can because finishing the race is hard enough for many people in here so you can see i, I took my time Grabbed as many points as I could, and I got 24,000 points. I wasn't really rushing through the screen. Now, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get paired right away uh, searching for an opponent. I played a few before I recorded, and I should have just recorded from the start, but I wanted to make sure I was still um, still uh, flying well. But that is basically the game. Let's jump into another one. If I didn't get paired on that one, I don't think I'll get paired on this one. That's fine. Uh, it's just the time of day that I'm recording this. And this is a new game, so the, the crowd is not very high on this game. But on this one, I'm going to try to go as fast as I can and while simultaneously getting as many coins as possible. There you can see I took a hit. I want to be very careful. Oop, took another hit. That's not good. So now, if I take two hits, I'm going to limit my boost because boosting is very dangerous. Uh, those flying discs are probably the only obstacle that consistently gives me trouble. Uh, that first power-up I got is a magnet, and what it does is it allows you to fly close to a coin without actually touching it, and it'll still redeem it for points. So I am I, I know I said I was going to fly as quick as I could, but given that I crashed twice early on, now I'm just trying to complete the race because any tap of the uh, drone on any obstacle will finish the race for me so i want to just finish it because like i said many people that play this game oh and there we go i crashed many people that play this game are going to have a hard time just finishing the race so uh if you can 
finish the race, that's priority number one. Try not to boost. Try not to hit anything. And then uh, step two, work in boost where you think it's safe to boost. And we'll do one last one uh, just to uh, see how we do. Again, I'm going to focus on speed this time. And you can see it didn't work out for me very well. I actually did better score-wise when I wasn't going for speed. Oh, another thing, you can change the view. So if you're not a fan of the view, you can switch there. Oops, I probably should have done that at the start of the race. Um, I am not very good at this view because I like to see where the outer edges of my zone is. But you may prefer this view better. Um, I find it very difficult. <laughs> so let's... Um, I'm going to see if I can find a safe spot to switch. I mean, it, it, it's not bad. This is definitely how I played initially. But once I switched over to the other drone, I was able to, to fly through tighter spaces a little better. Because I had a better idea of how big my drone was. So I, I find myself being a little too cautious in first person view. But I could see someone that's very good at this game and already knows how big their drone is. Uh, using the first person view because you can be very precise with your movements but I honestly don't see this as a drawback here this view here is not terrible either um, it's also very sensitive so when you slide your finger you don't have to move it very much to move it left to right or up and down and it's very intuitive there's really nothing tricky about this it's just literally how many objects can you can you dodge while simultaneously going as fast as possible and it's very hard to steer when you're boosting so that's why you don't see me steering uh boosting very often and there we go we finished with 2200 points um might have been a little faster if i had uh not been in first person view and i'm gonna do one last one just to finish the video i spent half of that one in first person view so i don't feel like i got my full potential out of it but this time we're gonna rush it and see what I can do but it's a pretty cool game uh, initially I hated it and I'll be honest with you the reason why I hated it is I was having a hard time just making it uh, to the first lap like I, I was crashing like really fast and losing my money in the process so um, take my advice ease off the boost focus on just getting through the targets or through the maps and then once you've learned, like, okay, this is how fast it's going to go. Um, ooh, that one always gives me trouble there. Those spinning discs always give me trouble. But I still got two more lives, so I'm not too worried yet. Um, flying through that target can be frustrating for some because it does hit uh, you if you don't fly directly through the middle. So you have to fly directly through the middle for the 500, 500 point bonus. It is definitely worth it. Oh, here we go. I, I haven't gotten the invincibility, but you can see with invincibility, you can just fly through everything and get the risky coins. And I don't know exactly how long it lasts, and I'm usually focused on the screen, so I can't even see if there's a countdown somewhere on the screen. But if there is one, that is good to know because I need invincibility through the disc. Oh, and there I just, I was risky because I wanted those extra coins, and I knew the end was near. So there we go. 30,000 points. That would have got me a freaking $250 gift card there. So anyways, that is drone racing. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you download this game, maybe you'll play against me because there's not a lot of people playing this right now. You can see here I'm the only one that's won medals, to be fair. The league just reset about an hour, uh, 30 minutes ago. So I think the last league had maybe 250 people in it. So it's very small player pool. But I do look forward to squeezing this into my rotation. I like to play a variety of skills games. I don't like to just play one game. And this one seems like a quick way to earn tickets and uh, stay above 50% win ratio, which is what you're going to need to stay successful in uh, skills games. Anyways, this is Dark Jedi. I hope you enjoy the video. You have a good day.